people after a foggy start this morning. But people were out there snapping the photos, capturing the really prettiness of early this morning. Megan Wagner sent this into my Facebook page. Gorgeous shot there. It kind of takes your breath away. And this is actually a fog bow. You've heard of rainbows. Everybody knows what that is. Well, a fog bow occurs very similar to a rainbow, except it happens in the fog. Really pretty shot near Waukee taken this uh, yesterday, actually, as he was out doing a little bit of hunting early in the morning. Well, the wind has increased, and that has kind of helped to dissipate the fog. We've got the breeze coming in from the south, southeast. That is a warming wind. You'll feel the breeze today, but you'll also feel the warmth from it. We've got readings already in the 70s in central and western Iowa, nice and warm. 60s off to the east here today, so we're already above the average highs. We're headed for readings today, mid to even upper 70s. Plenty of sunshine. Some cloudiness, though, will be drifting in from time to time, and that's going to actually keep our lows tonight really mild, holding in the 60s overnight, which actually is pretty unusual for this time of year. So far, we've had some cloudiness lingering across southeast Iowa, and now our attention is off to the west. This is where that next weather maker is going to be coming in, affecting our weather right now. Some rain showers near Rapid City and some cloudiness now building into central Nebraska, but it will take its time getting here. Here's future cast today, nice and quiet. As we head toward tomorrow morning, already by 5 a.m., there could be a few light rain showers entering the western counties, and the rain stays mainly across the western half of the state right throughout the morning hours, 10 a.m. Possibly some rainfall near Ida Grove, stretching down toward the Red Oak area. During the afternoon and evening, 6 p.m., rain begins to creep closer toward the metro. For us here in Des Moines and Ames, it looks like more of an overnight or late evening event. By 11 p.m., showers and thunderstorms right along the I-35 corridor, and those will quickly race off to the east. So those are going to be out of here by the Wednesday morning commute. Wednesday right now is looking gorgeous, plenty of sunshine. But then by late evening on Wednesday, close to midnight, more rain will be rolling in here, and this rain looks to linger as we head toward Thursday, and that will bring a big change to our temps. Rain trackers showing the heaviest amounts of rain falling across west central and northwest Iowa. This will occur on Tuesday and Tuesday night. Rainfall amounts of one to two inches could fall. Even here in the metro in central Iowa, a half inch to an inch will be common. Right now, we've got plenty of sunshine and a gorgeous day shaping up. A couple of cumulus clouds and 71 degrees. The wind is a little bit strong out of the south, now at 15, but we need that breeze this time of year to boost our highs up to near 76. Get out and enjoy today. It's going to be dry. Overnight clouds linger it's going to be mild too, back to 61. Tomorrow, throw that umbrella into your bag. You might need it by the afternoon. We'll top out at a warm 79 before the rain gets here. Here in central Iowa, likely seeing the late evening and maybe overnight rainfall. That clears out for Wednesday. Wednesday itself is looking beautiful. Good news if you've maybe got a field trip, but more rain's coming on Thursday. Notice what happens after Thursday's rain. Temps really cool down. There'll be a bite in the air by the end of the weekend with highs there only in the 60s and overnight lows in the 30s and 40s.